This is the engine installed in the world's most fuel efficient van, the Jetta diesel turbo. This is the modified Chrysler motor mount that I made mount onto the fuel injector plate, mounting plate that's underneath the timing cover. It's mounted to the engine block. It, that's the trickiest part of this uh, engine job, is making that thing fit so you can still change the timing belt and so that the timing belt does not rub on this unit. The front motor mount, just underneath the radiator, is just a combination of a Volkswagen motor mount on the front and the Chrysler motor mount chopped in half and welded together. The other most tricky part of this engine job is on the transmission. I've changed the transmission on the Volkswagen to be a Chrysler style transmission or General Motors where they have two shift cables. As you can see the shift cables go up under the car over the exhaust. I had to make a mounting plate here and I had to weld a long pin here to the shifting arm that was already part of the transmission. This linkage here was already part of the transmission too with a little extension added to it and a pivot point for the, sh the shifter rod. I made these support brackets for the uh, shifter cables out of pieces of lawnmower blade because lawnmower blade is the right thickness and it's spring steel and I just happened to find a couple lawnmower blades with the right size hole that the piece fit right on I just put the clip on I've remounted the air cleaner box on this side of the vehicle instead of over there. On the back of the transmission of a Volkswagen is a mount. Not really, but it's got two extra holes in the housing and I put a steel plate on this housing. There's one bolt and the other bolt's there. This is just a useless bolt. And I've made a little bracket to weld it to the stock Chrysler rear engine mounting bracket that's pretty much the same for V6s and four cylinders. So that's the other point where the Volkswagen transmission, I mean engine and transmission mounts. Originally Volkswagen had a motor mount back here over beside the shifter mechanism but on this application it just was too bothersome to make a special bracket that would mount it to the frame. The van has no modifications so I've made this kit or this idea as a bolt-in for any Chrysler product without any modifications to the vehicle. The front motor mount is removed. Here is a close-up of the front motor mount. You can see where I've welded one piece to the other piece. Here's the other side nothing special now I'm going to show you how I made the axles for this vehicle on the outside end is a Chrysler universal joint in the middle is a homemade coupler I made of a sleeve I pressed on and I welded I balanced the shaft while it was in the vehicle rotating slowly by spraying it with paint and then tapping it with a hammer while I was holding something near it and scratching it to see where the high spots were. Then I preheated it before I welded it so that it wouldn't distort when I started welding it. And then I welded it with a 130 amp MIG welder. The other end is just a standard Volkswagen end that's bolted to the transmission. When I take motors out of Volkswagen products I leave the axles in the vehicle, unlike most other front wheel drive vehicles, and just unbolt them with these bolts and leave them attached to the spindle hub. It's easier that way. I'm now under the vehicle looking at the oil pan. This is the right side axle. Since it was a large hollow axle, 
it was similar diameter to the Chrysler axle which is on this end and the Volkswagen axle on this end I had to machine a solid sleeve to go inside like a solid bar with a slight different step on each side and I might now follow the axle back to where it mounts onto the transmission that's all stock the only extra additive to the transmission was the rear motor mount. It's actually just a twist torque stabilizer mount so that the uh, engine didn't twist too much when you were accelerating. It's just a little bracket I welded onto the frame. A little piece of rubber with a metal cup around it that came off some other kind of vehicle. And that's pretty much it. Above the axle is the Chrysler power steering pump that I used. It's a little uh, tensioner I put there, an idler wheel. That's important to have it there because when the suspension goes up and down on the bumps, if you didn't have that, the axle would hit the belt, eventually snap the belt. First side wheel point of view, you can see the separated modified axle where it mounted. And the above the transmission two bolts where the new motor mount goes or transmission mount to make it for a Chrysler purpose. Now it's very easy to see the unique place where I attach this uh, modified Chrysler motor mount in amongst the timing belt area to the injector pump plate. You can see this plate that holds the cables it shifts the transmission. One cable goes through there, the other one there. Here's a close-up of how the motor mount goes around the belts. Okay, this is what the motor mount looks like it's when it's removed from the front of the engine. Now the Volkswagen diesel is ready to install back in the old van with 427,000 kilometers